Well, welcome uh, back to Alan's Day. Uh, today, Bodie and I, he, Bodie, Bodie, say hello. Uh, Bodie and I are out uh, out on a trail ride. Uh, we are going out, and here's where we're at. Um, I'll get to turn around and show you a little bit more. But what it is, this is the Spruce Creek Trail Association, and there's a uh, a loop here that uh, we do quite a bit. Um, it's probably about a 16 mile loop. It goes through Wildcat Den, Hippie Cave. Uh, pretty nice. I'll uh, take some pictures along the way as we go. But uh, yeah, uh, Bodie and I, and I showed you a little bit about Bodie before. He's the uh, he's the little white mule here. Um, I've got my helmet on, got my vest on because, well, Bodie, uh, he's like riding a barn cat. Uh, he's uh, He's pretty, uh, pretty quick, pretty fast, and uh, uh, I got something to hang on to. I've got my, got my, my strap here, my night latch to hang on to uh, when things get a little, get a little squirrely with him. But uh, let me get you turned around, and uh, we'll take you on this adventure uh, around the loop from Wildcat Den to Hippie Cave and back to our place. Uh, hope oh, this place is located. Uh, just uh, about 10 miles outside of uh, east of Jamestown um, and just a little bit south of uh, uh, Big South Fork uh, Park is where this trail system is at. Uh, pretty nice day, pretty hot, uh, especially in this vest here. So talk to you guys uh, in a little bit. So here we are, uh, Spruce Creek Trail System, like I mentioned. Uh, here's where we're started from is right here this is at uh, 297 we've got our places right here uh, located so the trail that we're going on today is uh, we come around through Spruce Creek um, and we take and go all the way all the way here down off the map here and we come up all the way through and we come back up and we end up back into uh, Spruce Creek and then we uh, wake our way through and get ourselves back up to here. Uh, that's a pretty nice trail um, just for a quick quick loop here. Well I guess it's not too quick but it's a nice loop so uh, talk to you guys later uh, when we go through some water down a few hills and see how Bodie does. And here's a little bit more Mr. Bodie here. Uh, yeah, he's a little hot. We got them all geared up here with uh, um, everything. I've got my halter on here with my emergency rope here. This is if uh, something happens and I end up uh, upside down on the ground. At least uh, I'm not walking home because I'm tied to the horse here. Um, and he's got, uh, we got the saddle on here. And with a mule... You've got, uh, it's hard to keep a saddle on them. So we've got to make sure we got a good breast collar. Uh, we got a big double cinch underneath there to uh, hold it in place. And then we got our uh, britching around the back. Uh, that keeps that saddle from uh, sliding forward. So, uh, and like I said, I got my, uh, my emergency uh, oh shit grab handle here. So uh, we'll get you going and uh, show you some of the scenery. Well, we're going down a little incline here. You can see on these trails there's there's a few little little rock ledges and a few downs. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty nice uh, pretty nice trail system here. And you've got uh, plenty of rocks uh, to slide down. And with Bodie, uh, his claim to fame being a mule is he's supposed to be pretty sure-footed. So far, he's done an excellent job uh, navigating and going through some of these, uh, some of these, oop, yep. Yeah, he would rather go jump off the cliff than go around it or jump up the hill here. And this is all, all rock here. Oh, he's doing a little bit of sliding, but Bodie's in his element now. 
So this trail system here, um, like I said, it's, I don't know, 15 or 18 miles on this one loop that I do here, but that's probably like uh, about 30 miles on uh, typical flatland trails uh, because of all the up and the down. So Bodie's in pretty good shape right now. So that's why he's he can handle this. And as you noticed, uh, Bodie is pretty small. Oop, hang on, Bodie. And uh, I'm a little on the larger side. But these mules are, uh, they can handle it. And I, I felt bad that, oh, geez almighty, I don't want to ride Bodie because I'm a little bigger. But you get uh, some parts of Kentucky and Tennessee and they got mules about Bodie size. And there's, uh, there's some of them boys a whole lot bigger than me riding these little mules and they do a whole lot more rougher tougher stuff so um i guess oh, 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 oh. yeah i don't know how much it shows on the camera here um what we got going on here as far as the terrain but uh in color it's uh it's a little a little more Oop. Oop. there you go Bodie yeah, he never misses a beat here oh, oh where we go nope, 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 nope. we don't want to jump that cliff there Bodie we got to take this one and you can you can see right here so we'll let Bodie sort of pick his path here and get on down to where we got to go here so I know there's a water crossing coming up here pretty quick and then there's a uh, stop give him a drink of water and then we can make our way on up to um, Wildcat Den is the first uh first place we stop at so well oh, I think we're getting close to uh, coming on the down well I found some water it's coming up ahead first we got to get to it come on Bodie you ever watch that movie uh, man from snowy river it's not quite that uh, steep of a train here, but uh, I bet you Bodie could have did it back in the day. So, we're, uh, see what Bodie thinks of the thinks of the water here, and see if he wants to get a drink. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, Bodie! Nope, he's on a mission. He wants to get going, so. Well, uh, I'll bring you back when we get to Wildcat Den. Well, we got a little uphill here now. We've been doing a lot of downhill, so every time you go down a hill, well, you're gonna find the uphill somewhere. And there's quite a bit of rock here. This particular area, the rocks aren't too bad and sharp. And I do not have shoes on Bodie. Every other time we bring uh, other horses here, um, I've got shoes and pads all the way around. Um, Bodie seems to be handling, he handles this pretty good here. Oh, come on. Keep climbing, Bodie, keep climbing. And like I said, there's a, uh, so far he's, uh, he's got plenty of gas in his tank here as far as uh, moving. I'm not, uh, pushing him very much at all and he just uh, keeps on going we are just coming up to uh, Wildcat Den that is a little stop down in there I don't think you can see it very well from the camera but yeah there's uh, caves down in there and You've got a place to uh, tie up the horses here so you can walk down in there. And oh, the deer flies are out there. 
bothering his ears here. Yeah, they don't want you down there with horses. And Bodie doesn't want to go down there either. But uh, there's where it is, that big cave underneath there. Um, pretty good uh, pretty good rest area here. Ooh, Bodie's on a mission. He's gone to go. So I guess we're going to go. We're not going to stop today. Stop today and... Ooh, oh, what is that, Bodie? Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, definitely looking around. Uh, a couple days ago, he was standing in the pasture, and there was a, a bear standing at the fence line there. Now everything's a bear to Bodie, so he's looking for bear. Oh, we got one more. Well, not one more. We got a lot more uphills and downhills, so bring you back when we get to something in interesting. Well, we're coming up here to the in intersection here. We've got uh, Darrell Ridge and Hippie Cave is that way. We went to Wildcat Den. And we've got the Outlook. And then there's a uh, campground down that road there. Uh, something Ridge. I'm not quite sure what the name of it is. Um, but a lot of people access this trail system coming from that campground heading this way. And then if we head over to the uh, campground over there, there's a real nice trail system over there. That makes for a long day though. So uh, this is a real nice flat trail for a couple of feet here before we start doing the up and the downy thing here. But uh, we'll uh, take you on the trip a little bit farther down the trail here. Well, here's sort of an interesting spot. There's uh, little rock ledges all the way around here in this corner here. Usually when we come down here, there's enough water where there's actually water running down off the edge of these rocks here. Not quite sure. Yeah, there's usually water in there too. But you can see this is uh, at one point in time Somehow this all got wore out of here. But uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of this rock outcroppings on this trail here going around. Very beautiful. And then also once we get down to Hippie Cave, I'll tie up Bodie and uh, well, hopefully he's going to stay put. And then we'll uh, take a walk down by Hippie Cave and uh, show you that. Well, we are uh, made it to Hippie Cave. Oop, we got, looks like there's uh, some people down here already. Bodie's a little concerned. And then we got some people coming up behind us, too. So, it's sort of a popular place. If I can get Bodie down in there. We just, uh, go. There we go. Yeah, find a spot to tie him up and uh, maybe walk you down in there. Well, it's my turn to walk now. Uh, Bodie is tied up on the hitching post. Hopefully he's going to be there when I get back so I'm not walking home. And I'll walk you down to, uh, down to Hippie Cave here. Well, we made it down to the uh, entrance of Hippie Cave here. Uh, it's pretty cool down in here. These are sort of, uh, not quite sure what this plant is here. But there's usually uh, flowers on there. It's pretty green and lush down in here. And get up around here and I don't think this camera shows quite what we got going on down here, but best we can do is you can see there's the overhangs 
Oh, it's nice and cool down in here. And yeah, there's no horses down in here. Uh, it's just you walk down in here. It's not that far to walk down in here. But this is uh, an attraction. You come down here, stop at Hippie Cave, have your lunch, uh, let everybody rest up before you continue on to the rest of the uh, rest of the journey. Looks like I got the place to myself down here. I know there's more people coming down the trail. Um, so this is Hippie Cave. And over on that side, there's a big outlet. I'll, uh, I'll show you what we got going on over there. So, Well, on the walk back up to uh, where Bodie's tied up, there is an outlet here. Uh, scares the shit out of me. There's uh, no guardrails there. And this is as close as I'm going to get. But you can see... How far across that is in this uh, this valley here? Uh, pretty nice uh, area, especially in the fall when all the some of this leaves are off and they're all turning colors. It's pretty nice. So this is the outlook at uh, Hippie Cave. Well, we're coming up to a couple more signs here. So we've got uh, Darrow Ridge, where we just came from. Um, and then we've got uh, Hippie Cave, we just came from there. Here's sort of where we're going to right now. Is there's different trail systems that we have here. Um, we're not gonna make it to o and w we're gonna turn off before that. But there's a lot of riding once you get here. Now we got up to this part of the trail here. Just a little bit of gravel, two lane for not very far. Um, this is all the park service takes care of all this property here and we're just on the heading on the way back now I think Bodie knows we're heading home because he's uh, seems like he's in a hurry for something so we'll get back to you when we got something really interesting well we're uh, I think to another uh, interesting part here this trail that goes down Pretty rocky, nice terrain, nice and cool down here. Temperature's dropping a little bit as we're going downhill, getting close to the water. So we have another downhill water crossing here. Well, and then once we get to the downhill, then we got an uphill too. So, so Bodie's doing pretty good. A little bit of slip sliding around. He's got to stop and pick his path where he wants to go. Cause it's uh, it's pretty pretty rocky, and it's uh quite a ways down here. So yeah, this is an area that shoes probably wouldn't be a bad idea. On Bodie, but uh, these are pretty round stones. They just got to be pretty sure-footed when they're when they're going down these hills here. Well, we're making it to the corner, and then we got to switch back, and then we will be back down to the water. And we got more rocks on the side, and more downhill. Yeah, all I got to do is. Point Bodie in the right direction, and uh, he's the little mule that could, the little white mule that could. And then they've got this set up down here where it's like the forestry has done a little work on this entrance here. So this is East Laurel Creek. And Goes down both directions here. Just beautiful down in here. Okay, Bo, do you want a drink? No, nope, he's not too concerned about drinking. 
and they got a place they can tie up and have a little picnic down here so like I said once you do a downhill then it's uh then you got an uphill and here we go okay body dig 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 So we had a couple more switchbacks going up here and then it's uh, pretty clear uh, smooth trails from this point forward. I think this was the uh, extent of the rocky downward trails on this uh, on this little loop here so well we'll get you back when we get a little bit closer to home. Well we just came to a spot in the trail where there is a tree that fell across down right here. So anyways, we've got to, uh, this is where I'm gonna get off and walk, figure out how to get through here. So going down that mess isn't an option. This must have not happened too long ago because I think they would have, uh, they're pretty good about keeping these trails clean here, so. This is one where it's sort of on a side of a hill here, and we've got to get Bodie. Come on, Bodie. Come on. Come on. So he did the, uh, he did the mule jump across there. So I'm glad I was walking him on that one. Well, let's just find a spot to get back on here. Oh, we got a little bit of mud up here. Oh, it smells uh, pretty good in here. You can see that there's this real nice vegetation, but then when you get up here, all along this trail on this wet area here, there's these, not sure what they are, but it looks like they're coming to an end. There's all these flowers here on these uh, bushes here. They're all sort of falling down like snow as you're walking through here. They must be just to the end of the cycle, but oh, do they smell good in here. So we'll find a dry spot where we can get back on and continue our trail here and got some more of those overhanging branches with the flowers on them and there's water coming from somewhere it's coming down here it's all a little muddy so well maybe now from here the trail is going to be nice and level and flat all the way home probably not well we just made it back uh this is our Holiday home, uh, just outside of Jamestown, right next to Big South Fork in Tennessee. Uh, we're originally from uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, and so it's about a 750 mile trip to get down here. But this is some of the work that we've done on the place here. We've uh, uh, cleaned out the pond. Bodhi has different ideas here. So we got our little bench here where I come and sit in the evenings. Got some fake ducks in there. There are some goldfish in there somewhere. Not quite sure where, but they're in there. This is just a little roundabout way to get up to the uh, up to the house there just so that Bodie doesn't figure that as soon as he's home he gets to run up and we made a uh, parking area down here we've got a RV hook up there and we got another RV hook up here and Gene is waiting for me on the porch and oh, that was a pretty nice ride uh, Bodie did good he got squirrely a few times. 
and Jean is videotaping me while I am taping her. So thank you for coming along on this ride with me. Uh, with uh, Bodie, the little white mule that could. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching Alan's Day. Life is about making choices. Some things are already perfect. Some things you may choose to upgrade. This channel will show you both. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.